guys in this video I'm going to show you the best blitz in Madden and it's actually just a simple two-man pressure that you're going to be able to use to get passive pressure I'm going to show you two versions of it the first one is a passive pressure the one the second one's going to be a little bit more aggressive and kind of ensure that your pressure will come in now this this uh, play comes to us out of the New York Giants defensive playbook out of the 335 odd formation I'm going to get into that in just a second but before I do that I just wanted to really quickly just say um, to those of you that haven't subscribed to the channel to make sure that you do again my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become so if you're looking to get better at this game be sure to subscribe and I also wanted to let you know that I'm actually working right now on my first defensive guide of the season and so if you want to get uh, early access to that or at least no notified whenever we release that guide go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 we're going to be going in depth on a lot of different concepts in our first defensive guide of the season and really get you guys locking down on the defensive side of the ball now real quick what I wanted to let you know of is you want to go into your settings here and you want to turn um, auto flip off and the reason we want to do that is because we want to run this play flipped now can you run this unflipped the honest answer is I think so okay the honest answer is I think so um, I'm not gonna say you can or can't uh, I've, it has worked for me on both like both sides but I find that it probably is a little bit more consistent if it's flipped okay so the setup is honestly super simple all we're going to do is we are going to spread our defensive line and we're going to crash our defensive line down okay you're going to see that it's going to create this adjustment right here and then what i like to do is get on this safety right here winfield and go to town on the user side of things so all we're going to do is we are just going to drop pretty much everybody else into coverage the one thing that i would say uh, when you do this is i like to put my user on a blitz for this specific pressure and the main reason why is because we're going to be only sending two people okay and what you're going to do is you're just going to run and you're going to run down and you're really wanting to kind of target that guard tackle swoop and then you're going to basically swoop into the flat and play coverage so what you're going to see snap the ball and you're going to see the edge pressure come completely free now um, this is what makes this defense so daggone good let me show it to you in instant replay real quick so what you're going to see here this is the glitchiest pressure that i've been able to find at least pre or uh, at least in the uh, early access and this i have full confidence will work on next uh, or as soon as game launches so what you're going to see here is this blitz angle is really what's special so the blitz angles that we get from 335 odd have always been very good i've been running 335 odd to be honest for i think the last five years in madden it's been very good but what you're going to see happen here is that our user, because we target that guard, now you do see that the center is the person that comes to us, it's not the guard, but you do see that he's kind of glancing our way. And what's going to happen is you're going to get this kind of double team and loop around. And really what I like about this is this also allows us to be able to play a little bit more um, conservative zone drop wise and focus on just taking the flats. And as you see, we're getting literally uh, glitchy pressure sending two people out of the 335 odd. Now I want to kind of show you uh, this one more time. And again, I'm just going to basically spread my defensive line, crash my line down, and then I'm going to pass commit. And that's honestly it. Now I don't like to move. I like to keep this looping guy here. Um, if you want to leave him on a blitz, you can, but you don't have to. And it opens up the possibility that what we can do out of this is we can now create some different coverages. So we're just going to go to town on adjusting. So it might look something like this really really good deep coverage for example the whole bunch side is basically taken away and as you can see all we're really left to do is this middle of the field okay so again we're just going to swoop down into the left so swoop down into the left and as you see the two-man pressure comes completely free like i said this is the best blitz that i've found in the game so far i would tell you to literally watch this video two to three times if it takes that long to get this defense down i can't stress to you how important it is that you learn this blitzing concept this year this concept is so effective especially on next gen madden and literally we're dropping everybody i'm going to show you my play art here i just want you to take a look at what you're going to see um, let, let me drop this linebacker in the middle third 
look at this coverage. Whoops. Um, for whatever reason, my little linebacker is not dropping on the right side. But if you watch him up after the snap, you'll see he's not going to move. And again, snap the ball. We're just going to run down. And that time we got picked up. But that was honestly, I think, a little bit on my user. Because my user, one of the things you have to be a little bit careful with, with this pressure, in my opinion, is you have to be a little bit careful um, just simply with the fact that you have to remember that you know you're meant to draw and then release right so let me just show you okay here's my here's my play okay so you see we get really really good coverage all the way across the board we're playing like four deep with a maple and a yellow on the left side and then we have a purple and then we're going to take the hard flat so i'm just going to run jab down and you see even if you don't get free you get that instant shed okay so now also i would ask that you give me a little bit of slack on this blitz in terms of the fact that we're in practice mode um, this is going to work even better in the game for you and this is also going to work better in the sense that in the game you're not going to have to worry about I mean, really not gonna have to worry about all the other stuff with this blitz as far as like running it over and over again. It's not gonna matter as much in the game. But anyways, let me just show it to you one more time and then we're gonna go over another pressure. So I'm just gonna go down and there you see, get that instant shed win and he comes right off. And if you put strip specialist on that player, that's gonna be, you know, a lot of sack fumbles and things like that, okay? So now I wanted to show you kind of a four man pressure that is basically, it's very similar to everything else. So. All we're going to do is we're going to basically send, send the same setup. We're just going to send two other people. We're going to send this nose tackle and we're going to send Devin White. We're still going to kind of use her right in here. And then we're just going to go to town on our adjustments. What I like to do with this, this is kind of my favorite way to adjust it. You see, I still get a cover three Mabel on the bunch side with the yellow zone. Very strong coverage defense over there. And then what you're going to notice over here on this left side is I'm going to basically use her the running back to the wide receiver. You could even, um, one of the things I like to do is just man put that guy in man coverage um, and then just basically work back like that little loop that I was showing you. But anyways, snap the ball and you're gonna see, you're gonna get that instant win again. And as you can see that four man pressure. This just basically, the only thing that I really like this for is this is just kind of a change of pace look. It's really designed also, that that uh, the second pressure that I'm showing you is really good specifically against uh, people who like to um, people who like to block their running back specifically so and I haven't even gone over that with that two man let me show that in just a second but anyway you'll see here if they block the running back honestly it actually I think it makes the blitz personally a little bit worse but you see we're still able to get some pretty good heat so now last thing I want to do is I want to show you the first setup that we showed you but I want to show it to you with a blocked running back so all I'm going to do is man my user up on the running back and then again like I said I'm going to go to town uh, with just putting all these players in coverage and we're just going to come down and as you see we get that instant win again typically like i said if it if i don't get it to come in completely free and part of this is because we've been running this over and over again but if i don't get it to come in completely free i can at least tell you that you're going to get a really really good favorable matchup uh, for your guy okay so that's why I like to put my best blitzer. Um, Shaq Baird is like the perfect player for this. And again, I'm just gonna show how this works again. Block the running back, watch the block running back. See how the block running back does nothing? Even with that block running back, you're gonna get around the edge. Um, it's, it, it really is truly that looping uh, pressure. One of the things I'm probably not doing a great job as far as like a user, you wanna kinda come down and really force the defense to kinda commit. That's really the best way to get this thing to like really come in. And you can still use her. I want to be really clear. You can still use her. Um, you just want to get them to react for just a second. And I'm probably just sp springing off of this just a little too quick. So I'm going to stay on it a little bit more this time. Run down and around. And as you see, you get that instant shed. That time we got the cut block. But you see the idea of the pressure. So this two-man pressure is really, really good. It's going to force your opponent to... Um, I mean, just have a really hard time. And there's so many other ways that we can run this. This isn't the only way that we can run this, but it is the probably the best way is just simply this two-man pressure. Uh, three through five odd is yet again one of the glitchiest blitzes, or one of the glitchiest defenses in Madden 20, uh, in Madden uh, 22. Right there, we got almost, we almost got in, we just got caught up. But it's one of the glitchiest defenses in Madden 22. And like I said, if you can master the run defense, 
This is actually better, in my opinion, than last year's version because last year required you to spread the linebackers. This year, all you have to do, so you can still have this linebacker in here for the run. So, you know, I can still drop all these people. I'm not saying that you necessarily should. I would probably at least blitz three, but I just wanted to show you can get this in only blitzing two. But anyways, I just want to show one more time. And there you see the pressure get that instant one off the edge and you get the pressure okay so it's a little delayed but really it's probably my favorite way to start a game uh, if I'm just trying to kind of get a feel for what my opponent's doing uh, this in my opinion is the best way to do it because you're getting really really solid coverage um, and I mean, you're not having to do anything to get it I mean, I'm just going out here you see you get that instant win and there's you see now let me just show you one little thing, just kind of as a bonus tip with this. Um, what I have noticed is the tenderness of this. So I'm just gonna hold left trigger at the snap of the ball here, and I just wanna show you kind of what happens. So again, I'm just gonna hold left trigger and snap the ball, left trigger, and watch. See how much more consistent? It's, it's a little, it's not more consistent, it's just a little bit more consistently gonna be that instant shed type of deal because let me just show you one more time so again just spread line crash down that's all you're doing and then you're just zoning everybody out literally zoning everybody out um but i'm just gonna put you know i'm just gonna put winfield in a blitz and then i'm just gonna hold left trigger i find the blitz or the man up on the back to be the best thing but snap the ball and there you see you get that instant one around the edge and that time we actually blitz on accident a couple more people but you see the concept so anyways guys this i can't stress how important it is that you see this blitz this is the best blitz in the game uh at least right now as far as like it's got really the thing about this blitz is um we've done a couple of other videos that have shown this blitz where you don't have to send or where you send you know four or you send five right this version of the blitz um you don't you only send two Okay, so when you mix this in with all your other pressures that you can send out of this, you're gonna find that this is really truly one of my, I mean, it's just a really good passive pressure. And as you see, you're gonna get a lot of these sacks. Now, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tinkering around a little bit, the, the practice mode little thing where it kind of starts to react a little bit better stuff is kind of going on. So I'm gonna to have to cut this video off, but I just wanna show you this this thing is so good. And um, I just, I'm telling you, uh, test it out. Let me know what you think. Get it down like that. You get that nice instant win. Worst case scenario, you're going to get that instant win. Most of the time, you're going to get the um, the guy looping around completely free. So if you want more videos like this or you want to go a little bit deeper into these concepts, I would encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. It's just five bucks a month. You're going to get videos like this one literally every single week for defense. You're also going to get stuff for offense. And you're also going to get kind of a really deep dive into what the pro players are doing every single week in their money games and their tournaments, all of that stuff. We actually literally get down with a pen and a pad and break down their exact adjustments on every single play and kind of walk you through what a real film study is in terms of really trying to understand and get in the mind of these pro players. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm telling you, this 3-3-5 odd is really a fun defense to run at this point in the season. So I'd encourage you to try it out. Let me know what you think. And thanks for your support, guys. We'll see you guys later. If you want to get that true fan membership, it's in the description.